Hey guys, what's up? Dude, the Blaze here for a random little commentary thing. So, as you guys can tell by my voice, I'm really not in a good mood right now. Just talking to someone about something really important and kind of depressing to me right now, so, you know, I'll try to put on a happy face for you guys, you know. So, pretty much, today is the last day that I will not, I mean, that I'll be able to upload a video for a week afterwards. Oh, yeah, Timber Mountain one. But afterwards, I will be away on vacation for a whole week, so... Well, next video will be uploaded probably August 20th, if I had to guess. So, also, I should have had Survival Archipelago up today, but just like last week, I'm having the problem where it force updates it every time I load the jar, so I cannot play it, and I'm just going to have to wait till Better Than Wolves and all the other mods, which I think all the other mods are updated, just have to wait till Better Than Wolves is updated to 1.3. So, also, um... Yeah, pretty much. I will not have my laptop, I will not have my Xbox, so pretty much I'll have nothing really entertaining to use, and as a result, I will not be able to record anything while I'm gone. So, instead I'm just going to do a little commentary right now. So, pretty much, you guys probably have been to a movie theater at least once in your life, and I don't know about you, but whenever I go to movie theaters, they generally charge a lot of extra money for candy and stuff that is just completely unreasonable but they don't let you bring your own candy and drinks because that's just less money that they can be making so usually what people do is at least around where I live people will generally sneak candy in like they'll just buy it from other places like dollar stores and stuff and then they'll just bring the candy in through their pockets or something so that's pretty much what I did when I went with my friend and a couple family members to see Ted. So we went, and like, the first week it came out, my dad and I were planning on seeing it with my uncle, but it was sold out. We went there, but didn't order tickets online or anything. It didn't call to see if they had tickets. So we got there, found out that it was sold out, and then we tried seeing that movie with Adam Sandler, That's My Boy, because Ted was sold out for the whole day. And apparently That's My Boy was also sold out. So we did not get to see the movie that, any movies that day. Instead, we decided to go the next weekend when I had my friend over. So, at that time, my sister also came along to see it. Of course, yet again, my dad did not call ahead of time to see if they had any tickets left. And so, we got there, and the one time we were planning on seeing it out was sold out completely. Which meant, instead, we just waited for like an hour and got to see the later um, showing of it. Hi, piggies. So, we went in, we saw the, well, before we saw the movie, we had like an hour of extra time, so we decided to go to one of the dollar store places and buy some candy. While there, I was just like standing there looking at all the candy, and my favorite candy is that cookie dough stuff covered in chocolate, but they didn't have any of it, so I had to pick a new candy to bring. So, I was just standing there waiting, trying to figure out something, just waiting for like an epiphany of candy choosing. And then, out of nowhere, my friend was just standing behind me, and he was just like, Choose your candy wisely. And I was just, like, kind of creeped out by then. And I was like, okay. So, I eventually decided to go with these, like, raspberry creams covered in chocolate. But I forget what my friend chose, but I remember afterwards we kept on talking about the choose your candy wisely thing. Of course, we went to the movies, and I put the um, candy in my pocket because I had really big pockets that day and I had enough to fit. I don't know what, now I didn't actually have big pockets. I had really tight ones from like the denim sh shorts. So, as I was walking, the candy was just like shaking around in the box and you could just hear it really loudly. And it was fun, so I decided to make it shake even more by like moving my leg around and stuff. And so my sister yelled at me and was like, Hey, stop, that's really obnoxious. And I was just like, No, this is obnoxious. And I just started shaking my leg even harder and stuff. Of course, my friend uh, started laughing. Then later on, when we finally got to the movie theater and we're just waiting to get in and all because it, we were still a bit early, my friend and I were sitting next to each other outside. Oh, lava. And then my sister and uncle were sitting next to each other. And they were sitting kind of farther away and my dad was somewhere else doing something. And my friend and I were just like, hmm, I wonder why they're not sitting next to us. And I could just hear them talking about how we, like, they kept on saying, like, they don't know us and stuff. And we were like, oh, okay, yeah. So then we just kept on talking even more like a Choose your candy wisely And Hey that's obnoxious No This is obnoxious Sort of thing You know 
So yeah, pretty much we were just talking about random stuff. And then we finally got to go in and see the movie. Of course, the previews were so long, I started eating my candy during the previews. I finished my candy entirely, like the whole box, after about five minutes of the movie. It was good, though. The cookie dough would have been better, but, you know, when you don't have it, you gotta, um, what's it called? Compromise. But yeah, I still remember that movie. It was so funny. It was extremely inappropriate, like, really vulgar, and it is definitely rated R for a reason, but it was still really funny. And the worst part is that when we were leaving the theater and we were talking about our favorite parts, my friend and I had the favorite part involving a helicopter. And then later on when we remembered it and like looked up that scene on YouTube, my dad was just like, really? That's your favorite part? Of all the parts, that is your favorite one. You know, I really worry about you sometimes. And I was just like, eh, now that I watch it, it's actually really not that funny anymore. It kind of kills the joke. Then we watched other parts that were really funny, and then I kept on making references to them. And now they're kind of losing their funny value, too. So that's pretty much it for this video thingy, random commentary. To replace Survival Archipelago because the mods aren't updated, and apparently Minecraft really wants me to update the mods and stuff, even when I can't. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Hi, sheepy. So, I will kill these sheep, and then, let's see now. Let me just kill them in a fun fashion. Ooh, Coco. Hmm. How to kill them. Oh. Duh. Bah. Now die. Yes! No! Frick. Bucket, 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 bucket. Ow, 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 ow. Gee, that backfired a little. See so you guys, thank you for watching, and, well, this is ironic now that I'm saying it, but burn on.